we found it. A pep, the Dendro Dragon. Prima knew it would be big, but not that big. Puny god, puny human. Leave my domain. Frail life forms like you cannot survive in the endless sands of the desert. A pep, we're here to save you. I do not need saving, especially not by you, Brewer. You are no different from Amun. Both of you have only existed for a fraction of what you know as time. Yet you call yourselves lords of this land by leaning on the heaven's glow. You're better off paying attention to your path ahead, as you will fall where you've fallen before. I know that you hate both gods and humans, but you've grown too weak now. Can't you let go of your hatred, even for only a moment? Let go? For only a moment? Foolish booer. You will find no gratefulness from me, even if you heal me. You will only be reviving the dragon that will destroy Sumeru and the Seven Nations. No, you're ill, that's all. That I am. Time will bring death to all. It's unavoidable. Although I am gravely ill, my mind remains clear. I am different from the ancient dragons that came to terms with you. There's no need for this. There's no point in fighting. What we need is the truth. <laughs> the truth. The shackles that the God of Wisdom cannot escape from. I have paid dearly for the truth. And you shall do the same soon enough. Hey! Don't leave! Careful! Something's coming. Ah, what is that? Prima's never seen that before. It's our family. Huh? They're your family too? But they don't look anything like fungi. External form not important. Inner nature say. The composition of their elemental power is identical to ours. Is this what they've become after experiencing the apocalypse? This is also a form of adaptation, although a most gruesome and pitiful one. Many of our family members never made it out of the Dendro Dragon. They've gradually taken this form in order to survive the apocalypse. Is there any way to avoid fighting them? Hey! Can you guys talk? We're here to rescue you! Given it their all just to survive. They're being drawn by the fire seed. Only its power can temporarily free them from their pain. All that remains are the instincts to survive and search for energy needed to do so. So this is the result of forbidden knowledge. Would our world become the same if forbidden knowledge was allowed to rampage across to that? Like fish struggling on land, unable to find a single puddle of fresh water in the entire world. Yes, but please try to be gentle with them. They are not evil in nature. Order guide you. Yeah. <laughs> strength. They don't seem aggressive anymore. They want to go home. Yes. It was never their intention to leave the Dendro Dragon. Is there a way to make them revert to their elemental form? Years of torment is what turned them into their current state. Their external form has become their shackles. It seems only the Fire Seed or a Pep's Heart of Oasis can save them. But it'll be risky if we use the Fire Seed again. Correct. We cannot use the fire seed again. Everyone goes home. Not just us. Uh, this is becoming quite the dilemma. <sighs> Let me think for a second. <sighs> it's fine. Let's use the power of the fire seed. I can't bear leaving them in the desert like this. Don't worry, the decision is on me. I'll take responsibility for whatever happens.
It won't require much elemental power. I'm just worried that it'll become unstable. But as long as I use my elemental power to stabilize it a little, it shouldn't be a problem. Thank you. Sorry. Stubborn. Thank you, Lord of Dendro. Returning home is the most important thing to you. I'm not doing this just to protect you. After all, that giant Dendro dragon is also your family. Maybe it would listen. I will stand with you, Lord of Dendro. Thank you. All right, here it goes. Family. We will all be able to go home soon. Whoa. It's shining now. Endless amounts of knowledge and emotions are moving inside of me. They're all very excited. To imagine such growth could be achieved in such a short period of time. It's because you're carrying everyone's hopes and dreams. Yes, finally. We can go home. This is the last part. Let's go. is huge. Could this be where the Dendro Dragon lives? Yeah. Who knows what's inside that cave? Our goal is not only to find the dragon, but to also enter the world inside of it. That will be impossible if we can't get it to cooperate with us. But how are we gonna do that? It doesn't seem to want to help at all. I'll see what I can do. A pep! I know we don't see eye to eye, and that we have a very different understanding of the world and its orders. However, we are both born of elemental power, and both suffered the torment of forbidden knowledge. We are not that different. And right now, we share a common enemy. We should not let our differences get in the way. Hmm. Wonder if the Dendro Dragon's even willing to listen. I don't care about what you believe in, who you hate, or what you've done in the name of hatred. Nor do I expect you to be grateful. I'm here to save both you and your people. My people! They've been searching for a way to save you ever since they left their homeland. They yearn for a chance to return home. And now that everything is over, all the hatred that you harbor has lost its meaning. Rather than continuing to fight, you should consider the life you've produced. No response. Your eagerness to survive means that you haven't given up on that world yet. If you claim to know so much more than I, then why don't you truly think about why you want to survive? And why you're so vengeful? Where'd he go? 
I was only able to ensure that we made it here safely. It's possible we arrived at different locations. Hmm. Well, then let's go have a look up ahead. Paimon's feeling really worried. Yep, let's go. I wouldn't worry too much. The Traveler's no pushover. Paimon knows that. It's just that Paimon isn't used to not having the Traveler around. Ugh. Let's hurry. He might be just up ahead. That should be the heart of Oasis. All we need to do is light it with the fire seed, and it'll restore a pep with elemental power. The damage it suffered internally will also slowly begin to heal. Then let's hurry and light it! We still need to find the Traveler! Alright, hang on. Uh. Wait! The fire seed! What happened? It shattered! It was even more unstable than I expected. But... why? We barely used it! I'm not sure. Perhaps the fire seed was only capable of protecting one person? But if I didn't use its power on everyone, there's no way of knowing where you could have been sucked into. And even if that's the case, there's no reason for it to simply shatter, uh, unless... Unless what? Unless I was already in a weakened state when I created this fire seed. Which would be when we had first saved the desert. Oh no. Wait, let's put that aside for a moment. If the fire seed has shattered, wouldn't that mean we came all this way for nothing? Oh, do you know what we should do now, Nahida? Oh, come on, Paimon, think! I... Uh, <sighs> Don't worry, Paimon. This is my responsibility. The fire seed is technically just a ball of highly concentrated elemental power. Although my elemental power is slightly different than that of elemental life forms, I gained a better understanding of it when I turned into a fungus. So, all I have to do is imitate that power while adding some of my own. And I'll be able to do what the fire seed was supposed to. You're gonna become the fire seed? Yes. It'll take a lot of power from me, but it still won't be anything compared to when I was in the desert. I might, however, become even smaller. What happens if you keep getting smaller? I'll become a blade of grass or a twig. Basically, I'll return to how I was first born. I will be able to unleash power beyond my limits if I can reverse the process of growth. But you'll lose everything. You'll not only lose your appearance, but you'll lose your emotions, memories, and who knows what else? That's all right. None of that matters compared to the dangers that a pep is facing right now. No, no, wait! There has to be another way. Besides, what will Sumeru do if you turn into a twig? Maybe you and the Traveler can plant me in the soil of Sumeru once it is all over. I can still communicate with the world through the forest. It's just that you won't be able to see me for some time. You can't be serious. If the Traveler were here, he definitely wouldn't let you go through with it. If we knew this was how you were going to take responsibility, then we 
we never would have agreed in the first place. I'm sorry, Paimon, but we're out of options. Not all eagles who have fallen to the ground can soar in the sky once again. But if no risks are taken, then the eagle will be grounded forever. No. Please, no, Nahida. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah! must be made, uh -huh. but not by the Lord of Dendro. <sighs> We've all grown on this long journey. If the purpose of that growth was to return home, then our wishes have come true. Would you lend us your power? would come to this. All the knowledge, language, and emotions that you have learned will be reverted into pure elemental energy. In your new homeland, nothing of who you were will remain. You won't be remembered by anyone. Is that truly the return you've always dreamed of? Lord of Dendro, don't be sad. This is not your home. We go home. Lord of Dentro should also go home. Uh, hear us, please. Feel our heartfelt desires. Awaken! They're 
knowledge, memories, and emotions have been reverted to elemental power and released. They are no longer able to respond to you. The guardians that have accompanied me for countless eras have also transformed into my elemental power. Just as they did. They will be born once again now that they're one. There's nothing to be sad about. But that's different! They won't ever be the same. Paimon, we will never understand it, and it will never understand us. That's how it's destined to be. But as long as you can be healthy again, then nothing else matters to me, Apep. Samara will be free from threat as long as your health is maintained. I thought that my rage would be kindled once my power returned to me. However, what I feel now is a feeling that has long eluded me. The feeling of peace. The forbidden knowledge influenced you ever since you were contaminated, greatly amplifying your hatred and rage. Yes. There's no denying that. Although my hatred for that usurper from beyond the heavens still stirs deep within me. Destroying you and your people serves me no purpose. Be that as it may, my position still stands. And I will have nothing to do with you. When you inevitably perish due to your ever-expanding curiosity, I will still sneer and mock you in my heart. Sheesh! Who can put up with you? I respect your decision, and with time, I will prove to you that we will not repeat our mistakes. Before you begin resting, there is one last thing I would like to know. How did you become affected by forbidden knowledge? It's a long story. We all once believed in the distant past that only forbidden knowledge could give us enough power to defeat the heavenly principles. The Dragon King acquired the power of darkness from outside of this world and led us in a fight against the order established by the outsiders. D Dragon King? An unimaginable war took place into that, causing destruction on an unprecedented scale. The world itself was on the verge of collapse. In war, the victor would inherit the right to shape the world, while the losers must turn into ash. But I didn't give up on searching for a way to turn the tides, even after the death of the Dragon King. As I attempted to collect more forbidden knowledge from the corners of the world, as it was on the verge of collapse, I was stopped by the giant spike that fell from the sky. Sand dunes arose where there was only forest. And it was as if even Sumeru itself was trying to tell me that the era of the dragons was over. But you still didn't give up, did you? Because of Amun al -Ahmar. Yes. Al-Akhmar eventually obtained this power with the help of Nabu Malikata. His ambitions continue to grow, and he planned to establish a powerful kingdom in my domain. Although I didn't think much of him, I allowed his actions under one condition. The condition was that after his death, all the knowledge he came to accumulate would belong to me. At that time, I still harbor deep regrets. By the time the Dragon King finally returned, the world had irrevocably changed. Some of the dragons have grown close to your kind, and have forgotten all about our hatred from when the world was taken from us. And some died, leaving behind nothing but their bones, while others chose to flee after experiencing pain and agony. But for me, the scales and will of the Dragon King still shine bright in my heart. Even to this day, I will follow it until the end of my time. You really are insane. When Alakmar's proud kingdom collapsed, I swallowed him whole as I agreed and absorbed his elemental power. However, what I gained was no benefit. No. I gained the apocalypse. 
I used up all my strength just trying to keep the pain under control. I had no energy to analyze the knowledge he had accumulated. But even then, I still believe that his insanity was far greater than that of my own. So that's how the apocalypse started. I admit that I fell for his trap. I was like a final failsafe in his plan. Tiny Booer, and the rest of you, continue forward. I shall keep a watchful eye. How far will a life so dear and precious to the heavenly principles be able to go? I wonder. Dragon will need to rest for a very long time before it is fully healthy again. It's not as ruthless as it was before. Curing the dragon of its illness has seemingly made it more open to reason. Nobody's in a good mood when they're feeling sick. Even though we accomplished something really important, Paimon still doesn't feel happy for some reason. Indeed. Although they'll still have the chance to be born again, They've lost their memories of their journey. Each opportunity for growth is unique in its own way. Perhaps the immense power we released was the pouring out of all these irreplaceable emotions that had built up over time. Can you really call a place with no family your home? Family... Right! The Hydrofungus left behind its family. Those two fungi might be waiting for it to return. Oh, yeah! Let's hurry and go take a look! Huh. Explain all the complicated things that happened. Waiting here all this time? <laughs> We're back. <sighs> I'm sorry. I really am. But it's gone home and won't be able to return for a very long time. Don't be sad. It did it to protect you. Your happiness is more important to it than anything else in the world. It's said that Muir is its most important family member. That's your name, isn't it? Oh. <sighs> this is wonderful. So it has left traces of itself after all. They will definitely meet again. Someday.
down. I will have order. Solidify. There is no escape. Useless. 